well, busy, busy day getting this website together. And I've made a connection with PayPal just for what I want to do. It isn't just like making a donation. It's actually paying for a service. So it's, it's sort of like trying to set up the ability to take credit cards. So it's kind of complicated and way too much for me to handle. But I managed to get it done in a very short time. It's like this whole website is it's like as soon as this is done, which might take me another week, um, one because it still has an error now, which I think is PayPal, not me. But um, I'll have to still be doing some work on it just to clean it up and test it out and stuff like that. But it's coming along and it's coming along pretty fast. And one of the biggest things that I had to do is first of all accept the fact that okay I'm gonna have to do this because waiting around for somebody else to do this for me or in partnership with me wasn't gonna happen and uh, so I had to do it and there's so many bad memories with it because um, it is the career I tried to get into while dealing with 10 years of freaking of abuse um, so the demands, um, were unbelievable, um, just mentally of, cause you get a job in doing something like this, they want it done yesterday. And it's like, you can't even think when you're dealing with that kind of bullshit. So it's like my brain is solidly shut off on, I ain't doing any more research. I ain't doing any more figuring out. I've figured out exactly what it is I needed to know and I'm kind of over done with doing this so it's like my brain is definitely shut off it is psychosomatic um, but psychosomatic it's like is the color of your eyes and you don't know the depths of it but to have blue eyes means you feel you feel yourself being a certain way. That little bit that makes us different, actually part of that is the blueness of your eyes or the brownness of your eyes. That there is how you see yourself internally actually is what creates blue eyes or the brown eyes. Um, we think that it has something to do with how light is receiving. I mean, you can have that scientific explanation of how the eye works um, and what causes from that point of view the eyes to be of a different color. But from where I'm coming from is what is the causes that would make somebody eyes receive light in that way. Um, so it is a matter of how you see yourself all the time and how you see yourself in relationship to um, society and the rest of the world. So um, as you can see it's really hard to wake people up to new information. It is because you can't let go of how you see yourself and how you see yourself around the world and interact. You, you don't want to be wrong. Your ego says you got to be right. Um, so as soon as somebody makes a suggestion of, well, that could be wrong, especially now, if you tell any, everything is clearly wrong, but I've noticed that as soon as you point out something is wrong to someone else, the first thing they do is really come at you or, um, think you're ignorant. I get that a lot. A lot of people think I'm ignorant and it's like, but you want to do everything that doesn't work. You want to do more of it. So, which is, is like this Venus project. It's like they're recreating the same system. Although the picture, because they do have pictures, <laughs> um, looks a little different, but the same functioning, <clears throat> And they're all technology, they're all computers. I know exactly what they're doing. And what they're doing with money is just converting it into something else. That there's no way in hell that with our current, you can see the mindset that 
that group has or anybody else that has a solution or anybody else that's saying, hey, you know, you sit down at a table and point out, well, no, that system won't quite work because of this, this, or this. They won't even hear that. They're just so gung-ho on this is what would work. And it's like that's why as soon as you have a good idea and you can't sit down and have a conversation with what is right and what's wrong with somebody else, then your idea is shit. Um, which is like I've got that bottled water concept. I think yeah, I'm seeing lots of conversation about the dollars dropping and we need to use different metals um, to um, give value to a dollar. And it's like, do you know that because it's limited, if we have limited amount of gold, then that means not everybody can have it. Um, the only way that you put a value on a dollar, anyways, I'm getting way off topic. Um, my point with that is that I have an idea basing it on water. What's the difference between gold and water? Well, there's more of water and everybody drinks it. Everybody needs it. So everybody would have to consume it. And if that was your banking system, every time you drink, you're putting out energy. It's like perpetual motion. So you can't run out of money. <laughs> you can just have fun spending it. But then you get into, what does that do for the value of everybody else's dollar? Like it has to be like a one, um, everybody agrees on this one form of currency, just similar to what we base our money on now, which is basically oil or energy. This is the same thing. Um, it's just what you base it on. But the point is, is that if I have this idea, I'm willing to have a conversation with people to find out, will this really work or won't it? Because it's sort of all in my head. I like, okay, if this, this, and this is in place, then this should work. And, the, you know, it's all up in there. So the only way I'll know that it's right or wrong is if I'm open to the conversation with other people. Um... So that's um, one thing that I think the biggest thing that we all have to do is have a completely open mind. I think everybody on this planet needs to say, I am wrong, and what am I wrong about? If that was the in thing, we'd see change real fast. And you got to admit you were wrong about something. Hell, I was wrong about a hell of a lot of shit. I had no idea how wrong I was about a lot of stuff. Um, but now that I know better. Uh, and and background of abuse. The, what I perceived going on. I, like I thought my ex was a really, really evil person. But that wasn't necessarily true. There were a lot of other driving things factors involved that makes him who he is and do the things that he does and if I knew then what I know now there's no way I would have gone through any of that experience uh, but nobody told me so now I'm kind of in this stage of truth and some of the things that I kind of just wanted to share is um, doing this website is is like a challenge it is a problem and it doesn't matter what a problem is. It could be the collapse of the dollar. It could be you're about to go homeless. It could be anything, anything. As soon as you define a problem, the same tools would apply for everything. And I got to say that um, pay attention to your breathing. I am somebody that does not breathe. I hold my breath all the time. It's like I'm in fear. Fear. And I think I've held my breath since the first time I started getting beaten. Um, I forgot how to breathe. And um, I think a lot of people that, like I am against meditating. I think you can go a little too far with meditation. But if you know and you have an awareness when you meditate and what type of meditation is good... Um, it is breathing and it is like just pay attention to every cell in your body 
as you're breathing in and breathing out and do it really really slow and it is very much like um, using this bottled concept it's um, because I drink from it it is the suggestion it's not the water it's the suggestion it, it, it's like if you put a sign in in your uh, like a, a picture of a vision board then it reminds you what it is on a subconscious level that you want to attract in your life. And the less you are able to see it in the room, but it's in the room, then it actually works on your subconscious mind. So that's kind of the thing with these water. It's like there can't really be a label on it, you know, but every once in a while it's it interrupts my thoughts. And it's like, Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I wasn't going at this with the right intention. So it really gets me in the right intention. And it also really helps me see um, complaints and excuses. And um, part of doing uh, this website, um, a lot of it is, is the frustration or the um, anxiety or, you know, like, it just feels like I want to get out of my own skin and if I didn't have like this water or this concept to just pay attention to how are you feeling because it is like you've got to kind of notice yourself being frustrated and then you've got to be able to have that control to say well no I don't really want to be frustrated right now why am I being frustrated and it may be code and like it doesn't matter what it is that you're frustrated with because Trust me, I've had a handful of every kind of problem, and this works with everything, no matter how severe the problem is. And um, but it is a matter of you being totally aware of yourself and what it is that's going on in your mind, and um, do you really want to feel that way? And for me, while I was working on this site, it was no, I want to enjoy this process. Um, I don't want it to be frustrating. I don't want it to take forever. Um, I have visions of how I would really rather experience um, doing this website. And I got to tell you, it's like I can't believe it's going as fast as it's going. Um, I am noticing me stop breathing an awful lot. And I mean, you could be working and then you, you know, like I can just feel that my throat is definitely on shut off and it's like right about here there's got to be something that shuts your throat down but I can feel it and and my mother always had uh, uh, this reflux or whatever um, which oddly enough uh, my mother-in-law also died because I think some kind of something happened in her throat I think it was cancer or something but there was a lot of damage in her throat. So, and like, I'm not related to my mother-in-law, but um, everything is, the patterns within my family are so identical to the patterns in my ex's family. And I can see that those patterns repeating um, again with my kids. Like it's, and it's so hard to tell kids, especially teenagers that, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You're repeating the same pattern, and and that is sort of almost insulting because if I point out that, well, those are the behaviors that you hated about me. Well, there you are. You're doing the same thing, and it's more. Uh, some kids are getting it, and some aren't. But it's definitely has a lot to do with the fact that they have to earn a living in this world, this economic system that we've got now. So it's like they can't really. They, they're all stressed out um but i'm not um so i should be better than everybody else and uh so that's one of the things that i find that you get answers so much faster it's like magic that it is about asking the question you know to asking smart questions about the problem about the solution you want to experience with the problem you know it's all about the good questions it's not about going out and asking somebody else to do it for you or to solve it for you um, been there done that that always is a disappointment it is a matter if you see it needs to be done then you got to do it um, although I think that um, 
one person doing everything is like next to impossible so it's got to be like a cooperation anyways to make it really short it is the breathing it's like as soon as I can slow down and really watch my breathing all of a sudden I get smarter give it a try really deep deep and slow breaths does the trick every time peace out